I have known this woman's work since around the first time I came to New York when I saw her in Barnum. Oh. Uh, we also have a mutual friend, Judy Jacksina, that if I don't mention her name, she will kill me. That's right. Uh, <laughs> um, we are with the remarkable and the extremely talented Lilius White. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lilius. Okay, Hi, so the first time I ever saw you was Barnum. But how did you get your start in New York? Well, I was born and raised in New York. Um, my mother uh, uh, took us, my brothers and me, to Radio City Music Hall uh, regularly. We went twice a year. And, uh, and I, I grew up in New York. So at that time, um, the school system was very, um, it regarded the arts as very important to your basic education. So we got to go to the ballet, we went to the museums. I had aunts and uncles who were painters and artists. And um, I was exposed to the arts from uh, as a young age. Uh, my grandmother had big dinners every Sunday and uh, after dessert, my grandfather had to do the dishes and I, they put me up on my grandmother's dining room table. So I've always been involved in the arts. I've always wanted to dance. I've always wanted to sing. And I had to learn the acting, but um, uh, that's how I started. I started in Brooklyn, New York. What was your first show? How did you get started professionally? Uh, professionally, my first show was a show called Soledad Tetrod by an author named Owa. And I answered an ad in the Backstage magazine at that time. And I went to an open call for this uh, for the role of the Jinn of Sin. <laughs> they wanted someone who could sing and dance and act with, um, with equal, equal ability. And so I auditioned and I did my lines dancing around and singing and doing this crazy stuff. So they gave me the job. And that was the first time I got a write-up in the New York press for the show, Soledad Tetrod. Um, and then after that, you know, things just kind of escalated. The person that um, uh, uh, I, I re replaced someone in a show called The Amen Corner. Mm. And um, the, the producers of The Amen Corner were sitting with the producers of the Wiz Bus and Truck Tour. And the Wiz Bus and Truck Tour guy said, well, who is that? Mm. And they said, oh, that's Lilius White, you know, she's, kind of new and all that. So so I got invited to come to audition for the Wiz Bus and Truck Tour as the Dorothy understudy. Oh, wow. Uh, and so I went and I got the job as the Dorothy understudy. And I was in the chorus with the Kali Daws and the Wing Monkeys and all of that. And uh, about six months into the tour, I ended up taking over the role of Dorothy. I so did I, I, I did. Yeah, I did Dorothy, and then um, what happened after that? <laughs> <laughs> it, it just kind of went on from there. I, I did Dorothy, and then I, I got a chance to do Ain't Misbehaving on the Road. And, uh, and then I came, I came home, and I, I did, you know, little things off Broadway. And then I got cast in Ten Types, going to Palm oh, Beach. Oh, I remember that. Going to Palm Beach with um, a bunch of people, including my lovely... Um, uh, 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 oh God, I can't think of her name. I can see her face. And anyway, I'm going to tell you who, who she is in a minute. So I did 10 types. I got a call from my agent, Honey Sanders. God bless her soul. And she um, had an audition for me to replace Cherry White in Barnum on Broadway. And that's how I got my first Broadway show on Broadway. Yeah, Gabe took me to see the show and you were in it. And I was like, wow. Yeah, that it was fun. Cool. Um, they say that eyes are the windows to the soul, yeah. but I think that songs are. Uh -huh. What song or series of songs describes who Lilius White is? Ah, oh. oh, that's, that's a lot of songs. I figured. <laughs> that's why you get the series. <laughs> that's a lot of songs. I would say, um, Oh, what a beautiful morning. Mm. Uh, found a Cure by Ashford and Simpson. Mm -hmm. uh, I Honestly Love You <laughs> by uh, Olivia Newton-John. Newton -John. 
um, Don't Rain on My Parade. <laughs> Which you sing remarkably. Thank you, but I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I Want to Be Loved. Uh -huh. That was recorded by Donna Washington. What roles in theater or places would you like to perform in and what haven't you gotten to do? Oh, uh, which roles in, in theater specifically? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that, you know, I'm, I'm about the right age to do uh, MAME, mm -hmm. um, to do Dolly, to do uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, striptease woman. <laughs> oh, Jim Jim Rose. Rose, let's do Rose, let's do it. Um, but you know, I also am very interested in appearing on um, in TV. I would love to do a long term, high paying, enjoyable TV comedy. I could see you doing that actually. Yeah, I could see me doing it too. So I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, I would love to do a children's show and, and you know, more movies, more theater. All of it. <laughs> um, what composers have you not worked with that you would like to sing their songs? Oh. Well, oh, gee, that, that's, uh, that's a hard one. The people who wrote, um, oh gosh, that's, that's kind of hard because I don't know all of the new composers mm. by name. Um, and uh, the the majority of them that I've worked with before have are not here anymore. Um, but I would love to work with everyone. I'm I'm open to particularly new young artists who can recognize my talent and you know and and see the benefit of having me in this show. So yeah. everyone. You're performing at Feinstein's 54 Below. Yes, I am. May 26th, 27th, and 28th. And what is your show about? What is this, what is this show trying to say? This show is a tribute to Sarah Vaughn, mm. the divine one. And I've been working on it for a while with my musical director, Matisse Picard. Um, and we're just doing a tribute to Sarah Vaughn. And we're going to throw in some other things in the show as well. Uh, some songs that people will be familiar with like the man I love. And um, so it's gonna be a tribute to her and, 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 a, and a good time for people who love Broadway music as well. What song are you most looking forward to people hearing you sing in this show? Oh, Shulia Bop. Oh. Um, well, most people don't know that one, but you're gonna know it. Oh, I do. You do. Uh, it's me. Okay. Uh, what song says the most in the show? Oh, I would have to say, I want to be loved. Mm. Um, th that, that song to me is, is like a prayer. And uh, I think that most people have that sentiment, you know, um, whether you're in a relationship or not, you know, whether you've been in love or not. Uh, it's, it's all about the act and the action and the, the good feeling of being loved. And, and, and in every way, not just on the physical, you know, although the physical is all right too, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, where else can we see you right now? Are you working on any shows? Are you in any film or TV things right now? Are I'm not on a Broadway no. show right now, but I'm on a couple of Netflix shows, uh, Russian Doll. Oh. I'm in, the, I'm in there and uh, I'm in a show called The Get Down on Netflix that we, that we recorded uh, about five years ago, but it's still oh. playing and getting a lot of attention on Netflix. Um, Russian Doll, what else have I done? I did something else um, uh, that's on uh, 
uh, HBO Max. But I've, I've been busy. I've been doing, um, I just finished doing a show called Black No More. And oh, yeah. uh, we, got, we got nominated for a Lucille Lortel Award. I got a nomination as well. And um, so, I, you know, I've been keeping busy during the whole lockdown. I was in here working on music with my musical director and recording. And I did some, um, a lot of Zooming. Um, and so I've, I've been, I stay busy. Yeah, your choreographer won last night. Bill T. Jones won. Bill T. Jones, night. what did he win? He won a Lucille Lortel. Yeah, for about for Black and War last night. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I have to apologize because I got really, really sick during the run of Black No More, and uh, I wanted to see you more than anything, but it just was not happening. It was a very interesting it dynamic was a short run. show. It was a very short run. And with an extraordinary cast and crew, you know, it was great. It was a great will experience. It, will it go anyplace else? I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. I think that there's some fixing that needs to happen with the book. Um, and uh, we may need another director, but I think that it's it's worth seeing. It's, it's, it's a lot of food for thought. In that show. <coughs> I like food for thought. Yes. Um, Last question. Yeah. Is there anything that I haven't asked you that you would like our audience to know about you? Oh, I, I just want people to know that I really love what I do. I've been very blessed and I'm grateful for, you know, the blessings that I, that I have and that are coming. Um, I am a mother and a grandmother. And uh, I love that part. I wish I could have done that first. <laughs> um, but I, um, I'm single, I'm straight, and um, I'm working. I work all the time. I just came back from London. Uh, we did a gig at the Crazy Cox, which oh, is wow. a wonderful, yeah. wonderful, beautiful little yeah, cabaret room in London. We were well received, Billy Stritch and I. And we had a, a great time. And so uh, I'm looking forward to more opportunities like that. I love to travel. I love the beach. I love the beach. So um, I want you to know that. And uh, I'm here. I'm good. I'm well. And I'm blessed. And I'm grateful. Well, I will be seeing you at Feinstein's 54, hopefully great. with a friend in tow. <laughs> yeah, bring a crowd. Bring a bunch of people. Come oh, make some noise. I'm trying to bring our mutual friend. Oh, great. I haven't seen her I in know. a thousand years. Oh, that's wonderful. You let me know which uh, night you're coming. Oh, please. You'll hear us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing you. And Lily, is, as always, wonderful to see you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day.